General Montgomery is always well in the picture, but today we take you behind the picture to meet the artist, Augustus John. Augustus John is our greatest living portrait painter. We went down to get some pictures of him at home in his lovely house at Fordingbridge, where the only sign of war was an occasional distant rumble of gun practice from Salisbury Plain. An artist who works as hard as Augustus John needs the inspiration of beautiful things, and this he finds in his garden. Just as he's one of the few eminent artists who really look the part, so his garden is exactly what an artist's garden should be, from the dignified yews to the well-kept flower borders where he loves to stroll. No gardener can wander idly for long. There's always some job to be done. With a long-handled pruner like this, there's no need to climb wobbly ladders getting hairy caterpillars down your neck. The artist has a friend along to share one of his great pleasures, reading. The young friend has been brought by his mother, Mrs. Mavis Cole, whose portrait John is now engaged on. Augustus John is in the mood to paint and he calls to his sitter. The studio where so many famous people have sat to him is an airy, modern building built according to his own ideas. The curve of those stairs had to satisfy some of the most critical eyes in England. In the model's chair, Mrs. Cole carefully takes the same position as last time. These hands are the only ones in the world that can give a picture that John touch. They're also the only ones that know their way among this mass of brushes and paints. Perhaps you're seeing a picture being painted for which collectors of the future will be in eager competition. Time for a rest before the sitter gets a crick in her neck, but the artist doesn't give himself any rest during working hours. As we leave Augustus John, Let's take a peep over his shoulder at the large canvas he's engaged on. This may well be one of the masterpieces of tomorrow.